YouTube. This is Linda Scrapjoy with a storage video for you for Project Life. You're looking at my latest purchase. This is the Raskog cart from IKEA, R-A-S-K-O-G. This is the cart that I wanted to buy in December, but it was continually sold out. And I still have the wire cart that I did buy and for which I have a previous video. And I still like it, but I'm going to repurpose that for something else for the moment. So let's pull this up and you can see what I've done with this cart with my Project Life stuff. Okay, on the top two shelves I have an insert that I also purchased at Ikea. It's called the Antonius tray and the cubbies in here are fairly deep, deeper than the core kit tray from, uh, from Becky Higgins. Now your core kit tray will fit in these shelves. Um, the Antonius fits pretty well and there's room on two sides for uh, additional stuff like here on this side I have my oversized stamp sets stamp sets here um, behind the tray here in this space I have my sticker letters um, some label stickers and my 9 inch trimmer my 12 inch trimmer will not fit um, across the shelves and it's because it's a Fiskars trimmer that has some rubber feet on each corner and it's just too big to make it. This is a nine inch trimmer and this works out well for me because when I do use decorative paper it's from a six by six paper pad or just scraps from my stash. So in here in this cubby you can put more cards or I have chosen to put right now a dollar bin, a dollar basket from Target and this holds the pens and tools that I use most often for Project Life as well as my corner chomper. Okay, shelf below has another one of those dollar bins from Target and it's holding um, some Project Life Studio Calico kit little bits. There's space here on the side of the cubby for more labels. Space in the back, let me get down here, um, for my lifestyle crafts. Sorry for the glare, Aero die. That fits in there and you can see there's more space behind for a large stamping block and also for some 6x6 six six paper pads. And there's two, two in there right now, but there's room for more. So stickers here, more sticker, oversized sticker packages on the other side of the tray, stamping materials, um, gold lame color spray. These are my Elise Bleha Cripe quote cards that I downloaded and had um, printed at Shutterfly and just cut in half. Back here in this cubby, I have um, my little packages of my wood veneers. And behind the tray there, you can see my Dymo labeler. So those are the Antonius trays. Now on the bottom shelf, sorry for the shaking. These are Samla bins from Ikea, S-A-M-L-A. I got the lids for them too for 50 cents each and they're stored underneath these bins. These bins were pretty expensive. The Antonius trays again were, again, were $3. And the Samla bins were, and you could probably use any bin, um, the, Sam, the Samla bins were $1.49 and the uh, lids were $0.50. Cents. So here I have some Project Life memorabilia. I have some punches. Here I have my bowl of washi, and as I need this bin for other things, I can probably just stack the bowl up here or get a bigger tray and do the same thing. And underneath I have my box with my peg stamps and I can stack that too also on one of the higher shelves if I want because I've ordered some pro markers and when they come in I want to put them in here. So that's the Rascog cart and the cart was $49.99 and all total I paid for the whole system $65. So um, the cart was a bit of an investment, but for 49 bucks, I think it's a pretty good idea, or excuse me, a pretty good deal. And it also comes in a gray gunmetal type finish. Um, I got the turquoise color because I think it has a good retro look to it that I like. So there's the whole cart again. And I want to show you another storage option for Project Life that I found at Target recently. This is a fabric bin, and I have to taken more of those Target dollar section bins and you can squeeze them in four side by side to hold bits or whatever. Then the three cubbies in the middle can hold Project Life cards just right. You can put them, you can put the three by fours horizontally as you see or vertically. Four by six uh, fit nicely. And here's another long bin that you can use whatever you like. And this tray was, it's fabric covered inside and out. And it's like fabric colored 
fabric cover chipboard. Um, it was uh, $8.99. And then the bins were, each one of these baskets was a dollar each. So those are my latest two additions to Project Life Storage. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Take care.